Hi, I'm Dr. Charles Glassman, Coach MD, and I wanted to make a short video about something that is very important to me, and that's the topic of meditation. Now this, I promise, is going to be a short video, so there's not going to be a lot of details about meditation. I just kind of want to talk to you in generalities to get you starting to think about the possibility of maybe you being able to meditate, believe it or not. Because I know that I, I've seen it so many times talking with people and really meditation, oh my God, I know it's something that I want to do, but I just can't do it. There's no way. There's no way I could do it because my mind is so distracted. I'll make it, I'll tell you what I, what I, you know, when you say your mind is distracted, I'll get into that in a second, but also it's a little bit weird as well. And I know it's weird. Believe me. Um, I admit I'm a little weird <laughs> and my 13 year old daughters, twin daughters made that, you know, confirmed that yesterday when they said, you know, dad, I know that you're, I know you're weird now. It's, it's, it's a given. I, I know you're weird. You know why? You know how I know, you know how we know you're weird? Cause Lady Gaga meditates also and she's really weird. So that's confirmation. Uh, if, if you didn't, if you didn't know then now you do know, but you see, meditation is really simply relaxation. And it's relaxation enough to calm yourself in order that you can connect with what I believe is our conduit or our gateway, our passageway to our individual spirituality, to our personal power, our pure potential. And it's my belief, our connection with our inner guidance, with, which is a direct connection, I believe, to God. And you don't have to believe that, but it is a, a way that you can uh, get away from the, uh, uh, what I, you know, people say their mind is the mind chatter, but really I make the distinction between the mind and the brain. And it's really brain chatter. That's just the way I look at it. And our brain is our primitive nature. It's, it's, it's the way that, that we, uh, for hundreds of thousands of years, protected ourselves. And we don't really need it that much anymore. Yet it's the chatter that takes us away from our perception of danger. And our brain perceives meditation as danger. And that's what, where all the chatter comes from. But one way that we can take the danger out of the equation is by making the unfamiliar familiar. Really, we're kind of making uh, uh, things that were unfamiliar to us, make them habit. And that takes some practice. And again, this is a short video and, and maybe short on details, but keeping that in mind, making the unfamiliar familiar, because a lot of the things that we do in our life, actually, uh, we, we don't want to do. You know, it's unfamiliar for us to do the opposite of what, we, you know, of what we're doing now, and, and that's where we really want to go. So how do we change that? Meditation really can help us do that. And one of the best ways I find, and now again, everything, everybody's different and everybody has their own personal way. And there's no right or wrong way, really. These are just suggestions, things that work for me. Uh, there was a patient of mine who shared with uh, a friend of theirs a meditation that we did. And the friend responded, oh, that's not meditation. No, I know what meditation is. I've done TM for 25 years and that is not what Dr. Glassman told you, not meditation. Well, I differ because I feel that if somebody really is meditating, they're meditating without judgment. It's your own personal meditation. It's yours. You own it. One of the ways to get some of that chatter out, some of that brain chatter, is start making the unfamiliar familiar by actually imagining what the unfamiliar looks like. And the way you can do that, because it's hard for people to close their eyes. Once you close your eyes, I know it. I know it's going to happen. Crazy thoughts are going to come in. I know because I have them and I had more of them. I have less of them now as I make the meditation habit because, again, I've made it now more familiar. Our brain only responds to danger, threat, or vulnerability. So if it's unfamiliar, it's danger. Not really, but that's that's our primitive nature. But one way you can do this to get kind of get the brain chatter out is that you can start talking about what you're seeing. And that really helps a lot. Let your mind guide you 
as you close your eyes and what you're seeing. So if you'd like to see something in your life happen, talk about it, what you're seeing as you close your eyes. Do this for five minutes when you wake up in the morning and when you go to sleep at night, every single day. Start making the unfamiliar familiar by talking about what you're seeing. And as you make it habit, the distracting thoughts will become less and actually your visualizations will become more vivid and you soon won't even have to be, you won't have to talk about what you're seeing. You'll just see it and feel it because it's really the feeling that's the most empowering and what connects you with your pure potential and your real personal power. That's what it really is about. So this is a short video. I said it was going to be short because I know our, our, our attention spans are not always the longest and there's more to come. So keep on uh, communicating with me, giving me feedback on, on Facebook joining me for whatever when I start beginning webinars, which I haven't started yet, but I look to do in the near future. And I love continuing our, our collaboration and our communication and our working together to improve our world and to improve ourselves. Until next time, I'm Dr. Charles Glassman, Coach MD. Thanks for listening in. Bye for now.